Look, Ryan, when you get this, please will you phone me back? And I'm really, really sorry again. He's not going to pick up, is he? Giving an addict money to score heroin is not your finest hour. I know. Do you know what? Maybe he's right. Deep down, I am a spiteful, manipulative cow. How could I do that to Dawn? Do you think I should go and see her again? Apologise. Well, that depends. Are you genuinely sorry? Or are you hoping that getting her on side will bring Ryan back? A bit of both. <sighs> ah, glad you made it, mate. Is everything all right now? Why wouldn't it be? No reason. I'm ready when you are, mate. Oh, I've never been one for PT, me. I know much better ways to get hot and sweaty. Mm, been keeping it busy, have you, Sammy? Hi. Actually, I was talking about ballroom dancing. Do you mind if I tag along? Uh, you're needed in the kitchen. No, she isn't. Oh, very mature. So you're not refusing to cook, then? It's just that, well, I've been texting you all morning. And it's my day off. Where's Marlon? He's barred from my kitchen until further notice. What, cos of Billy and Harry? That's not Marlon's fault, is it? Do you want me to buy you lot and all? Hi. Can you spare five minutes? You, no. You heard a slingy rook. At least you're out. Fine, but you're wasting your breath. Can you try and reason with Chaz, please? I'm not getting involved, sorry. She has got her own problems that need sorting. He will call when he's calmed down. Which will be never. I just want to put things right. I knew there was something weird about that whole Michelle thing. It's not something you want to broadcast, is it? Ruining someone's life. Maybe if I had been honest, though, Dawn would never well, have... Well, it sounds like there were other reasons. Hey, um, when you see Rashid, just tell him there's a free drink waiting for him. His quick thinking helped save Dawn's life, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I feel really bad about what happened. Yeah, me too. Now you told me what she's been going through. I mean, maybe I would have handled things differently when she tried to blackmail Pete. <sighs> None of us have covered ourselves in glory, have we? Hopefully, we'll get a chance to make amends. Oh, it's supposed to be meeting Pete for lunch. Mm, not here, I'm afraid. All right, I'll go and wait for him. Listen, if you're going to see Dawn, do you think maybe I could tag along with you? I'd really like to tell her how sorry I am. You've already done that. Properly. You know, explain myself. Not that I'm looking for excuses. OK. But if she doesn't want to speak to you, you leave her alone. Of course. Thanks. <laughs>